everyone, my name is Ty Panapon, and today we're going to be looking at my Gudetama collection. And I'm also a head illustrator for the Milani Times. So, to start, I have this Gudetama blanket, and most of these are gifts that people buy me because they know I like Gudetama. Let's just give it. Yeah. It looks like this. And my favorite one is the one that has its butt out. Signature butt. <laughs> and there's also this little egg guy. Gudetama comes in many variations. He can be like a boiled egg, one in an actual eggshell, etc. So that's the beginning of it. This one's actually from Japan. Like I got it for a birthday present. It's another Gudetama and it's super soft, but he's a little spoiled because I've had him for a while and we just like sleep together. So he's a little brown, but he's one of my favorites. Notebooks. They actually have information in them. This one does not. This one has my college stuff in it and it's a present that I got from my little sister. So. This is another present. It's Gudetama with wrapped in bacon, and he's known, Gudetama is like a lazy egg, so he's constantly in little like commercials, I guess, where he's just doing lazy things, so it's just him. Let's put that there. We're not done yet, okay? We have this. It's a coin, coin bag. It has other things in it, but it's a coin bag. Yeah, that's another one. And this recently, so here at Milani Times, we did Secret Santa, and I put that my spirit animal is Gudetama. So I got Gudetama stickers. You just, it's amazing. I haven't used any of them, it's too precious. I have one Gudetama sock, because I lost the other pair. <laughs> but this is from Las Vegas, that a friend also got me. And if you want to see a full pair, here you go. These ones are from Japan. They're the little eggs, so like fish eggs. So Gudetama can be any kind of egg, okay? It could be a quail egg, it could be a fish egg, it could be an eagle egg, it could be hard boiled, scrambled, you know, everything. My cup. I have coffee every morning with this cup. And look at this little face inside. And here's the best part, the butt. And this, I'm not sure what it is yet. It came in like a Gudetama package, and I believe, I thought it was for my phone charger wire, but it has a little sumo wrap on. Yeah, he just sits there on my desk. Oh, and we also have this. This was a recent Christmas present. It's an umbrella bag, but I actually use it as a purse, because why not? And here's the umbrella inside. And we are actually inside, but I'm still gonna open it for you guys. Ta-da! This one obviously is Gudetama. The other ones are its friends, I guess. But, yeah. This is my electronic bag. This Gudetama actually came from this bag, but um, now it's just my electronic bag. It's butt again. And we're coming up onto the last things here which is my pens. I have Gudetama pens. I had four, one I gave away, another one I lost, but two left. This is another gift, it's a Gudetama pencil. And at home, my keys have a Gudetama on it. I have a Gudetama washcloth, and we lost some casualties. I had a full folder, but it fell apart. So this is my Gudetama collection. And this is the beginning of the Gudetama segment where I will next be drawing Gudetama because I'm head illustrator. I do that. I will also be teaching you the Gudetama theme song dance. It's great. I learned the whole thing. You have to stay tuned and continue watching the next two videos for that. And also, if you love me and you want more of me, I have a blog called Chasing the Aesthetic where recently I talked about 
the aesthetic of flying babies, otherwise known as angels during the Renaissance period. You should really look at it. You can find it on the Milani Times website. But yeah, I'm Ty and thanks for watching my Gudetama collection. <laughs>